next trailer is another horror surprise surprise right it's called candy corn and i was reminded of this uh when i did a reaction i think it was last night maybe um i did a reaction and uh, this popped up on the you know like the end screen type thing and it reminded me that i had this in my list to watch and i've had it there for a while I have not checked it out yet. I obviously I haven't. I don't know why. I maybe the thumbnail was just made me think kind of like cheesy horror movie and I was looking for something that might be a little bit more grabby and impactful. But I'm going to go ahead and check this out now because I decided it's time. It's past time. Let's give this trailer some love. So already we've got protagonists that are unlikable, and they'll probably all get killed. Who sleeps in stone and clay? Heed this call, rise and obey. Pass again through the mortal door. Come to thou and walk once more. What did you do? This town has created a witch hunt, and they are coming for the freaks. So, let's give them what they came for. Who is that guy? I've seen him before. What the hell is going on? No one's to be out after dark. Is that PJ Souls? Looks like her. Oh, Josh Hasty. I recognize him. Okay, so, all right. So, because of my love of the Halloween movies, I had um, either joined a group or liked a page called, oh shoot, the Michael Myers House NC or something like that. And it's this guy who has uh, built an exact replica I can't remember his name now. We were friends on Facebook for a while, and um, shoot, I, Kevin. Oh, that's gonna bug me now. I need to look him up, find him again. But anyway, so he, um, anyway, he's built this Michael Myers replica house, and every year, especially around like Halloween, he'll host like these Halloween parties and viewings and stuff uh, of the movie, different movies. And I've never been to that. It seems kind of cool, but I'm not one for like huge huge crowds. I mean, I say this, I went to Dragon Con. That was a big crowd. I was not very happy in the midst of the big crowd. But anyway, uh, it still seems like kind of a cool, cool thing that he does. But so we became friends on Facebook through our mutual love of, of Halloween, the original Halloween. Well, just Halloween in general, but for me specifically, the original. And um, he had written uh, a screenplay for a horror movie called Honey Spider. And because I didn't live too terribly far away from him, I was able to go and help him for like a day. My son and I went for about a day just to be like little behind the scenes, not behind the scenes, but you know, like background extra type people. So uh, we're in like the opening shot of Honey Spider, one of the opening shots of Honey Spider. And so that was an interesting experience. I did it because I felt like my son would appreciate all the, you know, just kind of hard work that goes into making even a simple type of you know lower budget sort of horror film it's still a very involved process so he definitely got to experience that uh the the very kind of sort of boring behind the scenes type stuff that you know when you're waiting you have to retake and retake and retake and retake and retake and retake and retake um that was a long day but it was kind of interesting i mean those are memories i'll i'll have forever um, I did finally watch the movie Honey Spider. It doesn't have the best reviews. It's not the highest quality uh, 
filmmaking like the audio and the, the you know the camera work and stuff I mean I guess they, they did the best they could with what they had but anyway that's a long way of getting back to Josh Hasty. Josh was the director of Honey Spider so I'm looking at this and it looks like it's quite a bit of a step up from Honey Spider with regard to film production quality the audio sounds better I can already tell the cinematography or just the, the also the just the whole overall appearance of the video looks much more professional so that's that's kind of impressive and um, I was already sort of interested in this anyway and you know just as I started watching I'm like okay that looks like some, I'll, I'll check it out that looks kind of like my thing but then when I saw his name attached to this I'm definitely wanting to see it now because I just want to have a full comparison between this particular movie Candy Corn and the very first movie that I ever saw him direct which was Honey Spider and see the improvements that he has made along the way in his filmmaking abilities because I can tell just by the trailer he has improved and I think we did this I think Honey Spider was being filmed in um, 2012, 2012, I think it was the same year that the last um, Dark Knight movie came out. So I believe it was, it was like in the, the fall of 2012, late fall of 2012, November-ish was the day that we went and, and stayed there, you know, all day helping with this particular scene. So yeah, it's 13.45, six years, it's, uh, I'm interested to see the improvements that he's made in his, um, you know, filmmaking abilities. And I'm going to also see if I can find what other films he's worked on in between. I'm sure there's been more, but I haven't really followed his career beyond my limited exposure to him from Honey Spider. So anyway, yeah, I for sure interested to check this out. And as we see here, it's going to come, um, video on demand and blu-ray so it will be available in the next few days hopefully it will be available on one of my streaming services and so i'll be able to find it anyway okay yeah that's um i i i, I dig this i liked the trailer i thought it wasn't too terribly long um it was it was decent and it gave you a good idea of what was happening i'm already feeling like i'm not going to like the main people in here like the girl might be okay but those guys and what they were doing to that poor fella at the beginning. So it's like already you're ho you're thinking, well, I don't know about necessarily actively hoping something bad happens to them, but they did this terrible thing, so I can't really, I don't really like them already. But there might be more to the whole story than, than just the focus on them. So we'll see. And when I watch it, I'll come back here and let you guys know. And maybe we can talk about it. That's it for now, you guys. Bye.